are also a good thing to do while you're on the floor. And think of a twist as um, basically just opening up with a longer spine. So when we, when we twist, we don't want to round our spine because we're not getting very much out of the twist. So whether you're, you've got one foot tucked and one foot long, or want the sole of your left foot flat and your right foot tucked, yes, you can turn to an open twist where you place your left elbow in front of your left knee while your right knee is flat on the ground and you turn to open. Now while your baby's there, you can read them a book. <laughs> or you can play with the toy. Just constantly pressing that elbow into the knee to really open up your twist. And typically I would have my gaze over my right shoulder, but since my baby's on my left, I'm bringing my gaze down to my baby to make sure that he doesn't move away. So then we'll release this and now turn for a closed twist. On the closed twist side, you still are on the left leg with the right leg tucked. This time our left hand comes down by the right hip and the right hand comes around and just hugs this, this leg. And I'm engaging my baby, I'm talking to my baby. Yes. What you reading, buddy? What you reading? What do we got? Notice I'm not rounding my spine. I'm still keeping the long spine. Still consciously drawing the left shoulder back and really opening up. And this should feel good after a day at the, at the office or just chasing around a baby. Yes. That's a kitty in me. What do you have here? Let's see. Who's that? Who's that? And then coming back to center. Whenever you practice twists, you want to make sure that you do one side and then you do the opposite side, the same thing.